Hi right there folks, welcome back to the channel. It's day five of our Slovenian adventure and it's the second day of our adventure on the Idritsa River. Orash, tell us a little bit about where we are at the moment. We're in a B sector of the Idritsa River, angling club Idria. Basically it's a bit more wilder part and the game is to try maybe trick a bigger marble trap. I, say, I saw you prepping some big flies at yeah, the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like we're early in the morning, so maybe there's some big guys around it. This is the time to catch the bigger ones, is it? Yeah. Maybe we're already a bit yeah, late. Yeah, sun's coming yeah. up. Uh, but we'll still try it. You never know. Maybe it will happen. So this could be this. This is big fish time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go and find some. Big meat time, let's just get that wet. The game is with this, it's just to try and drop it as close to the rocks as possible. You basically jig it, it's a little bit like perch fishing. And you're hoping there's gonna be something underneath these rocks that might just come out and smash this early in the morning. And these marble trout get huge, you're talking about a fish that you can get 30 pounds plus. Guys are talking about fish of over a meter. So a big meal like that is no issue at all. Right next to that rock, drop it down. Let's try to take this downstream again a little bit and trying to keep in touch with it as much as possible. It really is a lot like perch fishing. Trying to move it just enough to make it look natural. But you need to keep in touch with it. The difference is, is that when we're perch fishing, we're fishing for two or three pounders, not 20, 30 pounders. My heart's absolutely pounding. Oh, God damn it. Uh, you're tense now, man. Oh man, my heart's pounding. <laughs> my heart is absolutely pounding at the moment. Okay, so we're really in the zone here now. We've got all kinds of good water in front of us. Could be a fish under any of these rocks. No follow. Size Still there? under this rock, yeah. She was pooped, she was somewhere oh, here. Shit. Yeah, she went like you see this sandy pit, yeah. She just went into that oh, sandy pit. Damn it, okay. Don't worry, okay. Move on, move Where do you want to go next? So, we just spooked a marble, but hey, it means they're here. Big fish. Do you think you spooked it? No. Is it gone? I jumped in, saw the tail. Ah. Uh. Here we go. I got her. I got oh, her. yes. Oh, wow. I got her. She got one. I got her. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. Rainbow. It's a rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> it's a good rainbow though, isn't it? It is. Oh, it's oh. going. Oh. oh no. no. That's fishing. Yeah. It's a good rainbow. It was a good rainbow. Are they interested? Well that was that, the dawn raid. We moved fish. We did. We moved fish, I'll have to excuse me if I'm out of breath. That is physical fishing. Lots of rock hopping, loads of bedrock, slippy wading, deep, mm. fast. We've seen some really big fish there though, haven't we? Yeah, we, we had a chance on a big marble. Yeah. Yeah. But we were just not cautious enough. You and know? that's that's the game, isn't it? You get a chance. Yeah, it's basically it's a chance. Yeah, 
one go and we missed it yeah well that's that's how it goes that rainbow looked like a nice fish that looked like you got pretty unlucky there yeah it was a decent fish but it fell off on the end like we almost got around to the net but it happens Do you reckon the stream was just a bit too big for the fish yeah it, it wasn't so big you know around like 40 45 centimeters but I'd call that big fish. <laughs> it, it was it was it was a decent rainbow, but by yeah. the standards of what's in here. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. A big fish. No, no, like we were expecting something bigger down there. Well, we gave it a good go, man. That's for sure. Seriously. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Okay. Five a.m. start. I think we did our best. Yeah. What's the plan next? Let's try another one. Another run. Maybe you get lucky there. I like that idea. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so spot number two. We've got. Or just downstream on this giant rock, trying to find a marble out of there somewhere. Uh, and I'm going to go through this lovely riffle on the French leader. This feels very familiar. But it's also super skinny water. I mean, we can't stress this enough. This river's very low, but it looks beautiful. It's got oxygen, it's got flow. Touch wood, this is going to be the spot where we get off the mark today. Okay, so, a bit of kind of conventional French leader. I've got loads of nice pockets to fish through here. Near bank and far bank, this is all great water. Let that swing a little bit, just starts to drop down there. Far bank, good area over there. A little bit slower, a little bit deeper. Okay, there's a bit of a boulder just down here. I just want to get a fly around there. That looks like money water. Okay, I've just had another quick fly change off camera. I tie some little gammaris on orishes and buy some little shrimps. Quite fish fish there we go straight away that fly change has worked immediately wow literally first cast get in the net get in the net yes woohoo who knows maybe that fly change is a step closer to cracking the code there he goes well, what a relief to get off the mark we've worked hard early start there's a little bit of space left up there. There's time for one more here. Slightly lighter fly as we move up this riffle. God, I mean, this is absolute dream water. One of the problems coming here as a, as a traveling angler for the first time is that every square inch of this river looks like it's gonna have a fish. And we're lucky that we've got two experts <laughs> with us basically putting us on the hot spots, the good areas, the areas that have produced recently because geez it would take a lifetime to fish all this effectively. A little bit further towards the middle, there's a bit of a drop there. That'll, that'll go through it. Oh fish, there we go, there we go, there's a fish. There's a fish just where I said, just in that little drop. Oh he's off. Ah, that was me too busy reeling, not concentrating on where the fish was going, trying to get him on the reel. There's a fish, there's a fish. Just in the edge. Right, concentrate Andy. Round you come, into this slack stuff. Whee! Jeez, felt like there had to be fish in that run. Probably haven't got the best out of it. But as we move up, we've made contact twice there in the space of two minutes. Jeez, he's taking line off me. Yeah, he's going that way. And right, now he's on the reel. Steady pressure. Let's get him into this calm stuff. Taking a little bit of line. Whoa, 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 there he goes. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Be a little bit careful, because I'm only on 6x and he's in amongst a load of rocks and weeds down there. Come on, buddy, that'll do now. That'll do. She's so strong. A little bit of weed over his head, that might help. Yes, in the net. <laughs> oh, God, what a relief. I thought I'd blown it after losing that one a couple of casts earlier, but stuck at it. Long morning. It's a little victory there for the French leader and for just sticking at it. I, I knew that had to be fish up there. But the thing is, when you're in a different country and you're fishing an area for the first time, it's always in the back of your head. Are they here or not? Unfortunately, this one was lovely wild. The drits of rainbow. So strong. There he goes. Man, I'm enjoying this now. It's so good to get a couple of takes in a spot. It means they're here. It means we've got a chance. 
it means there's time for more fish. So another really interesting morning's fishing. I was really glad that we got up that early and it was great to see some of those big marbles. Unfortunately, this time it was against us. I know I keep saying it, the river is super low at the moment. I know that most of the locals are staying away from the river until they get some more rain. Because generally that's when the marbles feed a little bit harder. So we've come back and we've just had a beautiful breakfast with our host, Urban, and his partner, Blashka. Urban, thank you very much again for letting us stay with you. That's really, really nice. So you're kind of a, a local expert with regards to the river and the area? I don't know if I could say an expert, <laughs> but uh, I'm a local, so I followed how things go, and I can, of course, uh, provide you some information about... So particularly about the... the you're an angler yourself. We need, we need yeah. to get that, get that straight straight away. So, so uh, Urban yeah. is a very, very good angler. Um, uh, I wouldn't say, <laughs> say very good. <laughs> um, and you're involved with the local club, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I've been a member for six years now, okay. and I'm also at the at the board of the club. You're on the board. Of yeah. So just remind us the, which club this is. We're in uh, Idria Fishing Association, and uh, we cover Idrita River and two tributaries, uh, Kanomlitsa and Tserknitsa. Okay. Uh, All together, it's 42 kilometers of the rivers that you can fish. Huge that, amounts of water. That is managed by our association. Yes, but not wholly the Ritter River. So okay. lower part is uh, another angling association, but the upper part, it's, uh, it's all. It's and like 42 kilometers. The upper part is regarded as the kind of prime Idritsa water, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's like where you go if you want to catch a nice marble. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the, the, the species of fish you expect to find in uh, the okay. Idritsa Club waters. Yeah, most of the people uh, come here for big fish. We are famous for big fish, especially the trophy part. Uh, but uh, you can find big fish all over. So what we have? It's uh, we have of course trouts, uh, rainbow. Mm -hmm. uh, rainbows can go to like over sixty. Wow! So it's yeah, a big rainbow. They can really grow. Uh, we have some brown, some really nice brown. They come like really golden colors. They're so beautiful. Yeah, we found a, found a couple of smaller versions. <laughs> smaller yeah, versions. <laughs> uh, maybe today will be a, a bigger one. Uh, and then, of course, it's it's a marble. Uh, mm. The marble, it's like. And that's the one that people thing. come here for. And that's yeah. the one that's, that's put on a pencil. So, so, what is it about the marble trout that's unique? Uh, what it is, I don't know. There's a myth about it. Uh, I don't know something mysterious. Uh, so people want to just catch it it's mm -hmm. it's not an easy fish to catch uh, most yep, of the yep, time we figured that out, yeah. figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time it's really hard uh, and uh, the Idritsa itself it's a really tough river to fish it's not for a beginner I wouldn't suggest that uh, so you must be experienced mm -hmm. to go and then it's also depends a lot on the conditions of the river like the conditions you have now it's like really really tough to catch something but if the conditions are good uh, if everything is good, it's also, on the other hand, not that hard. Yeah. It's, it can be hard, but it also can be really easy. Uh, but the fish is, um, like the marble trout, is, it's, uh, it has like this big head, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's like wide body with big head, and of course it's the pattern that is distinctive. Yeah. That's like I said, the marble. And... Uh, in uh, either side in particular it has also like red dots okay so they still still have the, the spots like a brown trout maybe would uh yeah yeah less but uh it has also so just just how big do they get uh, <laughs> one meter 20 one, uh, one meter 15 it's that's a I big mean, trout that's so a, that, that would, that would huge, make it the largest trout yeah. species on the planet yeah. i think wouldn't yeah. it so you, you've Taman and your Hoochin are kind of their own species, uh, aren't they? Uh, Whereas a marble trout is a yeah, genuine yeah. trout. It's uh, definitely among the largest, yeah. So you've got some of the biggest trout the, in the world yes. right on your doorstep. Exactly. Well, we've seen a few really, really big ones so far. We haven't managed to make contact with one quite that big yet. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the, the easiest is it's, uh, if you wait for a little rain, uh, the water gets a bit muddy. and. That's the time. That sounds like a good go. excuse for yeah. us to stop for another week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also possible to get like a really nice marble of 50, 60 on a drive. Yeah. So we're going to keep trying yeah, for those. We're gonna keep trying. So are, th are there any other species other than the trout species? Yeah, besides the trout, so we are famous uh, for like some huge graylings. Around 50, it's not really 
a problem 50 to centimetres? 50 wow, centimetres. That's a huge gradient. They go up to 55. Fantastic. That yeah. is an enormous gradient. And what species are they? Are they Adriatic or are they what, what kind of gradient it's are they? It's Adriatic gradient. They're grain. Adriatic gradient, yeah, yeah. they? so they've got that kind of yellow pattern. Uh, yellow with red. Red thing. So we talked about the river and the fish, but what is about Idria, the town, more broadly that brings people in? Oh, Idria, it's, uh, it's uh, the oldest mining town in Slovenia. It, everything started here in 1490, where mercury was first discovered. So that's 500 years ago, they were more mining mercury. 500 years ago, wow. the mercury was discovered here. And since then, the, 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 the town started to develop. The people came here, obviously, to work in the mine, and the mine was very important because of the mercury. Mercury had a high price and it was uh, like giving a lot of profits to yeah. the owners. So. And so that's w actually what is all about in India. It's everything is connected to the mercury mining. Uh, now the mine is closed. Mm -hmm. They closed it uh, about 30 years ago. Uh, today it's only open for visitors. You can go uh, on a tour. I recommend that. Yeah. It's a really nice experience. So one hour and a half and you get a picture of what was going, what was going on here, and the heritage of the mercury mine is also inscribed on the UNESCO list. So, so it's a world heritage it's site. It's a world heritage wow, site fantastic. since 2012. Actually, the world heritage site is like uh, two uh, heritage of two mercury, largest mercury mines in the world. So the world largest one was in, operating in Spain. Uh, that the town is called Almaden, and Idria was the second largest. So the, the second largest mercury mine on the planet? On the planet. Right exactly. below our feet? Yes. That is absolutely astonishing. So has it had any effect on the landscape or the river at all? Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, it, uh, oh, definitely. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's a very poisonous uh, metal, yep. and through 500 years of the production, uh, a lot of mercury went down into the river. The down to Idrica River, to Socha River, and then to the Adriatic Sea. So in Trieste Gulf, there's quite a lot of mercury in the sediments okay. that was like. But it doesn't have any effect on, on the river now or the fish? Uh, mm, no, I wouldn't say. Uh, we have plenty of fish, and yeah, I mean, usually, pe usually people think where you say uh, we are from a mining town, former mining town, people uh, think it's like dirty, it's like, yeah. uh, you know, but. You can see it's it's a spectacular town, it's absolutely nice beautiful. It's surrounded 360 degrees by mountains. The sun's out. The church is beautiful on the hill. This is an absolutely fantastic spot to come and spend a few days. That's for sure. It is. A lot of people are coming here, uh, fishermen, obviously, yep. but also the other people. We have, I think, a really good location because we are in the center of the Western Slovenia. So from here, it's a nice access to like all parts of the country on the western yep. side, so like for fishing, you can go fish on uh, Socha, on Unica, it's all very close. It's also local. It's, yeah, it's all local. Uh, it's one hour drive to anywhere. And also for people that come for sightseeing, it's like one hour drive to the coast, one hour drive to Ljubljana, one hour drive to the Socha river. So if you're in a trip, yeah. you can do it all. You can do it like, yeah, you can cover a whole Slovenia easily. Fantastic. So if you are a travelling angler or if you're a tourist who's interested in the area, you're going to need somewhere to stay. And particularly for the anglers out there, I couldn't think of a better place to stay than Urban and Blaschka's Airbnb here. It is absolutely spectacular. We've got amazing views all around and we can see the river right over the fence here. It's absolutely brilliant. We've been watching fish rise during breakfast. It's absolutely brilliant. So you guys run Airbnbs in the area? Yeah, it's true. Uh, we run a few apartments uh, for fishermen. Uh, and also other people come uh, to one apartment, uh, they book early in the winter uh, for the summer. They come here for a week or two and explore the surroundings. Uh, and for every guest I take some time as we talk about uh, the possibilities of what to do or if they were going fishing on where to go, or the spots, the flies and everything, how to do. Uh, and people appreciate that. It's a great service, and as I say, if, if you are an angler, who better to stay with than the local venue expert? <laughs> it's been absolutely invaluable for us. It's put us on spots that we would never have found on our own. But it's not just fishing that you're interested in, is yeah. it? There's other things around this area that you have a real interest in. I've been a local guide for more than seven years, and I just started recently with the food walks. Yep. So we're going around, walking around the town. It takes four hours. Uh, covering the heritage part of the town 
uh, of the history and also stopping on the way uh, to try some local, like really local foods. Like the Habanza you yeah. bought for us yesterday. Yeah. It was absolutely <laughs> delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, uh, Urban has introduced us to a, a few new foods already uh, and some drinks. Just remind me of the name of the drink we tried last night? Uh, Gerush. Gerush. That was potent. That's probably why we didn't film the outro last night. <laughs> but it's absolutely delicious. So the habanza was great. What else have we tried? Uh, we tried habanza. Habanza, it's a pork crackling pie. Mm -hmm. And it's really typical for Idria. So you cannot get it in Ljubljana or anywhere else. It's just here. And when we tried Gerush cocktail. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, marinated trout. Blaschka's trout. Blaschka's absolutely trout. delicious. <laughs> And we also tried, there was something that I'd never encountered, and living with IB, you get to drink a lot of wine, but I'd never encountered orange wine. Oh, yeah, we had the rabbit yesterday, and with the rabbit meat, orange wine goes quite well. Uh, Slovenia is really famous for some good wines. Uh, in the last years, winemakers, they did like, uh, really, they're doing a really good job producing some great wines. So, yeah, and we tried the orange one. Orange, uh, orange they are called macerated. Macerated. Uh, macerated yeah. wines, uh, they are now really, really popular, really into trend, so quite a lot of people are doing that, and I think they are really good. So we've got fantastic wine, uh, delicious food, uh, and some of the best trout fishing on the planet. Everyone who fishes <laughs> at some point should come to Idria, it really is the place to be. Now on the subject of the town, I think that's our plan now, isn't it? We're going to have a bit of an explore, we've got an afternoon off, uh, so we want to go and explore yeah. the town, let's see some size, let's get a real feel for where we are. Again, thank you very much for putting IB and I up. We're really grateful for it. You're welcome. Let's go and have a play. Let's go. <laughs> So, as you can see from the hats, we're about to go into the Idria Mercury mine. This is going to be something different. Look how old Dandy looks. Milady. So that was super cool. I absolutely love that. It's great to come and get a little bit of the history when you come to these places. Geez, those guys in those mines in the early days, that was a horrible job. Not only were you working 200 meters underground, but you're also dealing with mercury and all the problems with that. It's amazing, you actually get to go about 100 meters below the ground. We're a long way down. The mines, in, uh, for the most part, are fairly original. That was absolutely fascinating. Uh, IB said it was mind-blowing. It was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You see what she did there? <laughs> I'm so proud of her yeah. joke as well. I think you need to stick to the fishing. It took me like 45 minutes to come up with it. <laughs> right, so I think now it's super hot at the moment. I think the plan is we're going to go and get some lunch. Fishing. And then we need to go and catch some fish, don't we? Fish. While we're here. Marbles. It's marble time. Trout. Okay, so we had a really nice time in the town centre. But now we've ended up back in the canyon that we fished yesterday. So Orish has got one camera on and he's nymphing further upstream. I've got the other camera on and I'm throwing the dries down here. They're super aware. Make sure you have one chance. There she goes. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like a nice rainbow. Nice wildy. It is. She like that bright orange Urko fly. There we go. Beauty. Wow. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get another one. That'll do. That'll do. Where is he? Come on, eat that fly. There we go, that's nice, that's nice. Got him! Yes! Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, so we haven't got a huge amount of time in the canyon this time because there's other places we want to fish. So we really are running and gunning. And that is a beautiful piece of a drizzle silver. Stunning little guy. But we want to keep moving nice and quick. So we'll get him back. 
This kind of fishing is all about the next pool. You want to keep moving, keep finding fish, find the bigger fish, keep casting. There'll be more up here. Let's go. Okay, we have a nice pool again ahead of us. I'm pretty much sure there will be a fish inside. So, let's see what we can maybe pull out of this stream first, this run. Oh, there's a small touch. There's a tiny touch. Might be a decent fish sitting here. Ooh, and I think I see one. There are so... Oh, here we go, here we go. That's another one. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Oh, another small beauty. This time, small brownie. Wow, look at her. Beautiful small fish. Okay. Let's see if there is another one inside. Let's see what's going on in here. Lost the fly, I've lost the fly. No idea, oh there it is, just caught it at the end. Got him, got him, oh nice fish, nice fish. Yes. Another one of those pretty wild rainbows. Back he goes. Here we go. There's another one. Woo! Here we go. Nice. Another beautiful wild rainbow. Wow, they're just going after this one. That was fast. Beautiful fish. Took us out. Beauty. Let's see. Might be another one down there. It's nice. Got him. Got him. Beautiful little brownie. Absolute stunner. Hopefully you can get a bit of a view of it there. Happy with that. Back you go. So that's super intense, three out of six. I'm pretty happy with 50% because it's not a kind of fishing I'm used to. Uh, it sounds like Orish got three or four on camera as well. So we've done all right though. For half an hour, 40 minutes worth of fish and we've got seven between us. But we've moved back downstream towards the main river again and we've just found a load of rising fish. So it looks like the game has changed slightly. It's longer casts, a little bit like what we did in the last vlog. But there's more fish rising here than I've seen yet in Slovenia. Let's give this a go. Okay, so we've moved spot again. We've come back into the trophy section of the Adritza. And I was gonna walk a little bit upstream and nymph that run there, but there's a fish rising in front of me, so I've picked up the dry flow rod straight away. Not gonna, not gonna walk past this guy. It's only rise twice. It's a little bit short, but it's a good, uh, it's a good sight. He's just risen again. It's a bit further downstream. That's behind him. That's not a good cast. Oh man, I've raised another one. Raise a different one. Oh there, there he is. Just on that rock. Yeah, good. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He refused it and then turned around. Maybe this time? Got him. Oh. Right, I need to just compose a little bit because this fish will still eat. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got him. Oh no, I've missed him again. Come on, boy. No. Hey. 
Here we go. Yeah. Rainbow. Rainbow. Woo! Woo. Rainbow, it's a decent fish. We got this. This is a very decent fish. Woohoo! <laughs> so, what do we have here? This and feisty rainbow. She is perfect. There she goes. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> Righty, so come for a fly change. It looks to me like these guys are eating duns. So I've just put a well it's not that small. It's size 14 on. I'm going to go too small to start with. He had a little look at that. Oh, God, that's a good fish, that is. Just haven't quite covered it yet. That'll cover it. That'll go straight over him. Didn't flinch at it. Okay, he's back there. Got him. Oh, no, I've missed him. Oh, not again. That's a good cast. Eat it again, eat it again. Ah, oh, man. Can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing this, Andy. You've got to hit one. Oh, the bunny's on. Is he? Yeah, he's a good fish. Good fish. I will run to him. Uh, there were a few rises, and apparently... Look, it's oh, beautiful. Beautiful fish. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really yes. nice. Beautiful one. Oh, well done. Good, now let's go for the marble. So I am getting my steps in today because Urush just had a really nice rainbow and he was on one end of the river and then as soon as he put his fish back Urban had his fish so I had to run all the way to his end and he had the biggest fish of the day so far had a really nice rainbow and now I'm walking back to Urush and maybe I will walk to Andy to see what he's up to as well but whew, for me to not fish today and do that many steps it's a fair effort I deserve a drink tonight I think What is it? Woo! I'd be a marble. I hope so. He's playing dirty. He's playing dirty. He's playing around the rocks all the time. Oh boy. Marble trout. Oh my god. Oh, the heartbeat. Oh, it's a good one as well. Is it not a brown trout? No, no, marble. Or a hybrid. I thought it's like a really massive brown trout. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Thing is huge. Look at the head on him. Yeah, it's a male. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a hybrid. Is it? Oh, it's a nice fish. Lots of energy. Don't swim towards me. I saw a rising fish down there on the rock. She came up three times, 
and I decided, okay, let's try it. Let's see what what we'll do. Tried it with one fly. She wasn't going. Changed the fly. Immediately, I got a reaction. Then she refused it a few times. She wasn't going. Then I got a perfect drift over her. Boom, she took it. What fly was it? It was a tiny air fly. Tiny air fly. Classic. Decent fish. It's a proper, it's a proper hybrid. So let's see him. He's a beautiful fish. In good condition. Here we go. Yes. Proper male. Let's release this boy now. Come on. You good. Thank you. Ooh. Here we go. He's fine. Yes. We were waiting for this fish. We were waiting for this fish. Let's go catch more. Okay, so GoPro battery change. Uh, and Oris has just had an absolute beauty of a hybrid. Huge fish. Very, very envious. Cracking fish. So that's what we're aiming for is something, something along those lines. And because I had to change the GoPro battery, it meant that I've just left this pool alone for a few minutes. And it gone a little bit quiet, to be honest. Just in the last couple of minutes, there's been fish starting to pop again. Oh no, I've just missed another one. Oh, maybe he'll eat again. Maybe he'll eat again. That was a really subtle rise. Oh, just, just felt him. Yay, yay, yay. Come on. Don't be one of those days. Got him. Oh, got him. <laughs> certainly, not, certainly not as big as the fish that the other guys have been catching. But it's a bloody relief just to put the hook in something. I'm not sure what this is actually. The brownie? I think. It's a marble. It's a marble. It's a marble. Oh! Yes. <laughs> What a relief to finally put a hook in one. The guys have done really well. I know Orosh has had a couple of fish. I'm pretty sure Aban's had a couple of fish. I've missed a lot of fish. I've been unlucky. I've pricked a couple, but finally I've managed to stick one in the net. Now I'm not 100% sure. I don't know these fish well enough. I think this is a marble. It could be a hybrid. Either way, it's a fish that I'm very, very glad for. I don't know. Answers on a postcard. I'm not sure about that one. All right, buddy. If you are a marble, you're the hardest work for a marble in history. <laughs> and he waved us goodbye. <laughs> that was cool. He stops and stops and said goodbye. Ah, well. Rise. Yeah, I've st still got fish rising around me. I, I should have done a little bit better out of this pool than I have, but I'm off the mark now. The pressure's off a little bit. I can relax. I'll hit a few more before the end of the evening. I'm pretty sure. Got him. Got him. Got him. Good fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big rainbow, big rainbow, yeah, big rainbow, big, big rainbow, that's the one I've been after the whole time, the whole evening I've been trying to hook this fish, he hasn't even figured out what's happening yet, that was interesting, I could see the fish, I made the cast, and I could, immediately I couldn't see the fly and I just saw the white of the mouth and instinctively struck, he must have taken it subsurface, you get away from those rocks. I think we'll be playing this for a while. Ideally, we try and keep him in the pool. I don't want him going down there, that's for sure. We're on 7x tippet here, so I can't, I can't pull back too hard. Fairly delicate drag system, but geez, this is, this is all in the balance. Finally, I've worked so hard on this fish. I've missed it at least twice. That's a beauty. <laughs> yeah, Mirko above us. He's on one as well now. Oh no, was it? Oh, Mirko's just dropped a marble. Please stay on, don't do that. Just, just don't do anything, just roll over. Just do nothing, Don't. definitely don't do that. Come on, you'll do, you'll do. No, he's not ready yet. No, definitely not ready yet. It's just, I just don't feel like this fish is anywhere near ready. She's a powerful fish, it's very hard for me to move it. Come on. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Nope, I will give you a tail. Yeah. 
back across there, he drifts, and there's nothing I can do if he wants to do that. He's got plenty of power and plenty of weight to snap this tippet. <laughs> Mirko's on another one. <laughs> He's absolutely slaying them up there on the streamers now. That'll do, that's a real good one. Can I get around the back of you? Are you ready? No, 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 no. Are you ready? Will you go in? Yes! Get in there! What a fish! Look at that! <laughs> Boom! Get in! <laughs> oh, okay. Sometimes it all just comes together for you, doesn't it? I've tried so hard on these fish. And that cast, I think I said it while I was playing it, but the, the fly actually just sank as it got to the fish. I just saw a flash of white at the mouth. It just knew it was my fly. I don't know how, I just knew it was my fly and sure enough, set the hook and we were on. I've been fishing for this one fish for pretty much the whole time I've been in this pool. I've, I've cast at others, but this one's been there the whole time. And I've finally, yeah. finally got him. Absolutely epic. What a fish. What a fish. So I guess the only thing left to do with this beautiful Idritsa rainbow now is get it back. Oh, 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 that wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the dreamy release I was hoping for. It'll do though, safely back in the water. Get in, I'm so pleased with that. I'm so happy with that, I worked so hard. I deserve that one. Righty, light's starting to leave us now. And speaking of leaving us, oh, she's gone somewhere. I have no idea where he is, but he's left his spot. So I, <laughs> I snuck into it. I think I probably had the best of the of the last pool I was in. So I've come downstream to where Orosh oh, caught his fish. And actually there's a few fish here rising, there's one just risen now, but for, oh yeah, oh yeah, they are over there. That's probably a little bit short there, but we'll fish it. It's so hard to see. You just kind of have to, you have to see where your cast kind of unfurls and just guess. But that's mine, yes, 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 yes. Great fish, oh no. How far off will that be? Got him, got him. Oh, woof, 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 straight away. Whoa, first cast, that's what we want. Basically in the pitch black. I'm assuming it's a little rainbow from all these jumps. Woof, 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 wow, strong. Jeez. Turbo rainbow, he's <laughs> put me on the reel. It's only small, I think. Have you used up the energy, is that it? No. Maybe not. Whoa. Come on, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, so I'm straight into the net for me. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at him under IB's torch. What have we got? Beautiful wild. It a rainbow again. There we go. Hopefully you can see something, it's super dark. Back you go, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty pitch black. We were actually walking back to the car. We'd pretty much given up for the day. And uh, a fish rose and IB said, you need to cover that fish. And you were absolutely right, IB. Again, as always, you were <laughs> Covered the fish, first cast, got the, got the take. I don't know, maybe we'll have a look, see if there's one more. <laughs> so guys, pretty tough start to the day there, but what a finish. A band, particularly you by the sounds of it, finished <laughs> off pretty nicely. Tell us what happened there. Uh, I don't know. I just figured out the right fly and last five minutes I got three casts and three bites. Three so, casts, three fish. Yeah, and I landed two. Isn't that always the way that you figure out the right fly, just as it goes completely dark? Uh, no, no. <laughs> was, I wish it was me. so pre-planned, I think. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like you had a few too. Yeah, I had amazing time yeah, down there. I, yeah. I didn't see your hybrid, but I've seen the photos already. It looks like mm. an absolute stunner. It was a cracker fish. I loved it. That was it for me. That was the day saved. You know, when you get that fish, you got you're be, done. You yeah. got you got to be happy with those. Yeah, I mean, I'm the, the, more than happy. The reality is that three, four hours fishing there was world class. Yeah, there won't there won't there will be very very few places, particularly yeah. in the Western world, yeah. where you can get better 
trout dry fly fishing and that. Yes. That was absolutely phenomenal. It's quite unique, yeah. Yeah. Technical, not easy. <laughs> Far from easy. <laughs> not easy, that's for sure. Far from easy, yeah. The Conditions technical. were not on our side this time, so yeah, it was tough. Uh, you guys bailed me out because I didn't catch many fish. <laughs> so thank you very much. So if you want to know more about this world-class fishing, then you'll find a load of links in the description box below to the fishing club, to Urban and his Airbnb, and to a few of the attractions we looked at during the time here in Idria. Also, a huge thank you to Urban again yeah. for putting us up in your Airbnb. Really yeah. appreciate it and for all your help during the last couple of days. You're anyway, welcome. I think we'll definitely be back. <laughs> that way. We've got a few scores to settle. Yeah, you uh, need to come back. <laughs> now, speaking of scores to settle, we're going back to one of the rivers that we've already fished, aren't we, tomorrow? Socha. Yeah, we're off to the Socha, and I think that's a good place to wrap up this vlog. So thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up in the section below. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel because there's more vlogs coming from Slovenia very, very soon. And we'll see you all again next time. Take care, folks. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.